But what about the investing business? Just in 2017, it was a bliss. Of late, suddenly I meet so many investors, they are saying, oh God, why did we put our money? A lot of these first-time investors, and my fear, sir, is that they may not come back into the market for the next few years. Your take on that? Yeah, of course, because the approach in the market is wrong, no. Mm. They have nev uh, never, uh, you ask anybody who has come into this market that mm. have they uh, really done any courses? What experience do they have? Have mm. they done, if you, are, if you want to become a doctor, you are doing MABS for five years or LLB for five years. Yeah. So what uh, kind of homework are you doing? What kind of academical qualification you have to do uh, to, to come into the market? Right. Nothing. So that is why I've said many, uh, many uh, times that, you see, investing is a blessed business. Yeah. Okay. According to me, it's a sacred business. Hmm. I remember I have read one poem uh, in my childhood that I am monarch of all I survey. Uh, my right there is none to dispute. Huh. So and it means that actually I own everything, but I, I, I don't possess anything. Okay. okay, so uh, so this is what uh, uh, actually investing ac actually gives us that kind of freedom it gives us that I am free and uncommitted. Right. And plus, what advantage you have along with the promoters? Suppose tomorrow a promoter uh, sees that uh, his company is not uh, going to perform well, maybe for, uh, for uh, next say one year or two years, he cannot sell his shares. Hmm. But you are not carrying any baggage. You yeah. can sell. The share, uh, his shares tomorrow yeah. and invest in some other company. True. So it's a blessed business yeah. till you abuse it. You're talking about if you don't like the company and if you believe that in fact maybe the outlook's not good, you have no obligation, no baggage, you can sell the shares. But what about the SME space? You know, there was so much of momentum, so much of talk about it. Suddenly people are scared, but I was looking at a couple of shares and in fact, you know, several of companies, you have increased your shareholding there. So broadly, I wanted your view on the SME space. Uh, if you could explain to all our investors as well out there, it was supposed to be a good opportunity. Of late, there's a lot of fear. I'll tell you, I personally do not discriminate whether it is a uh, small cap or mid cap or SME or mm. main board, it doesn't matter to me. Yeah. If I like the company, I buy in any uh, platform. If I do not like, I can sell any stocks tomorrow. True. Last year, I was very much uh, bullish on Karnataka Bank. At one point of time, I was holding 2%, as you know that. Uh, but uh, somehow I was not comfortable uh, because to me peace is very important. Mm. Peace is more important than making money in the market. True. So, uh, but I was not happy with the performance of the company. So mm. I sold my Karnataka Bank. Similarly, I cut short my position into uh, Aries Agro also. And I switched over to like Everest Industries. I increased my position in because I thought ki maybe that will perform better than these companies. So ultimately yeah. my money is, the is in the market only. Yeah. People think they're playing a T20. They're coming in there and they want to make money right away. Uh, but that's not the case. No, of course not. Then you will burn your hand. It's not possible. Absolutely. So one has to be careful because of the liquidity. Absolutely. You know, one thing, Mr. Kedia, that I've seen in the past, this market will either make you a lot of money or it will teach you a lesson that you will never ever forget if you get it wrong. So you said, uh, you know, one of those stocks that maybe didn't work out was Karnataka Bank. You were quite bullish and in fact you got out of it. But for the market on the whole, what is the biggest risk? People talk about, you know, we're getting into an election year. You know, crude has gone up as well. According to you, what is the biggest risk for our market now? I don't know what is the risk. Mm. Risk is, if you can assess any risk, if you know that this is the risk, then that is not a risk. Mm. Okay. Mm. If you are talking about that maybe the Modi government is a risk or crude is a risk, then I don't think that is a risk in the market because all this risk adjusts itself okay. with time. Yeah. If suddenly something happens, then uh, then th things are different. Yeah. So I do not, uh, of course, stock market as a whole is a risky business. But what about political risk? How big a risk is that? See, I will give you one simple example. I don't know whether uh, Modi government will come or not, or whoever will come. Actually, this company was ruled by Congress for pretty, ever since we got independence, I think majority of the time it was ruled by Congress, okay. So India has so far reached whatever, as people are also saying that whatever policy this government has laid down or, mm. or implemented had been laid down by the previous government, okay. Mm. So Congress is also a tested government, okay. BJP is actually doing something good. Okay. Mm. So I don't care. We have seen so many prime ministers. We have seen Mr. Devi Gowda also as a prime minister and so many other people from and different And at that point of time, of I think as well, even the Deva Gowda government, the markets are fairly stable. Uh, that's what I'm saying. So the so market actually adjusts all these things. Mm. Uh, so I am not, uh, and I do not ha have any answers to, uh, to this also. So I'm not uh, worried. To me, it is the, not like a short-term thing. To me, it's like jina ya, marna ya, iske siwa jana ka. Are wa, sir. Are wa, are wa. We know about Vijay Kedia, the investor. What about Vijay Kedia, the entrepreneur? I remember once you had said, 
about a good manager in a bad business is better that, than, that is better uh, than, than a bad manager in a good business absolutely so yeah. tell us about mr vijay kedia the entrepreneur no no i am a failed entrepreneur i am not a good entrepreneur at all my mind doesn't work there till now till now so far and as of yeah. now you are managing only your own money at some point of time would you consider going out there and managing people's money could that be a possibility uh, no i don't know because i don't want to be accountable to anybody rather than just a income tax i don't <laughs> want to be accountable to anybody so, until unless somebody gives me 5 billion dollar 5 billion, billion dollars then you would consider but for <laughs> the time maybe. for the time being happy with what uh, i am happy with what i am doing so what about vijay kedia's mantra in life yeah, mantra is very simple market uh, has to be there agile i'll tell you what uh, whatever you have learned in your life hmm. okay you should actually or whatever you are you have learned uh, you should analyze yeah you should implement yeah and you should repeat yeah okay like in cricket once you get your position right mm. you are in your comfort zone mm. then don't try to switch don't try to be adventurous every right. now and then right. stick to your comfort zone and keep on repeating the process but don't leave learning absolutely keep on learning at the same time because yeah. if the situation changes if the weather changes if the pitch yeah. ch changes yeah. then you have to change yourself yeah. so ad that adaptability should be there absolutely otherwise if you are on the right uh, track keep on repeating the same thing so we have markets we have meditation and uh, what music music yeah <laughs> so th those are the three m's that you uh, yeah. that you the, your mantras in life if i have to say yeah, and fourth is my wife name manju <laughs> are wow, fantastic are you hitting it out of the park sir now <laughs> absolutely yeah. Yeah, so i'm just catching you a bit off guard but um, if you could sing a couple of lines of that particular <laughs> particular you know song and you could tell us you know the the meaning of that as well and there's a message out there for market participants as well uh, the song goes like that hai market to seeka munafa wo seeka leke bhool jaye share achhi company ka management ho honest ambition na kam ho challenges khelne ka bajwo me dam ho वरना वो बजा देगा बैंड कंपनी का लेके भूल जाए शेयर अच्छी कंपनी का दैट वाज लवली एंड व्हाट वी व्हाट वी गॉट फ्रॉम देयर इज यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट बाइंग गुड कंपनीज लुक एट द प्रमोटर्स बाय इट एंड फॉरगेट इट यू आर डेफिनेटली गिविंग अ मैसेज आउट देयर टू आवर ऑडियंस run us through sir some kind of details what was your thought process when you were singing this uh, song and what is the message you're giving out there actually i was traveling from bombay to uh, bangalore okay so suddenly it came to my mind in mm -hmm. the flight while i was sitting in the flight okay. that why not i make it a song for the for stock, stock market stock market absolutely so the message is very clear invest for long term mm -hmm. and the management is a very important part management is like a driver of your it's like a captain of your flight yeah okay if he will do any mistakes you will go down one of my quote that what do you uh, look into a management mm -hmm. that uh, he should be uh, actually honest hungry and smart absolutely so, and, and in the past i remember you telling us about uh, getting into a plane and enjoying the ride after that if i if i got that right right enjoying the flight once you are already sitting in there then there's nothing much you yeah, can do yeah nothing much you can do if you are going from here to london what else can you do after one hour of flying you are all, <laughs> only depend on the captain of the flight <laughs> then you just sit back and relax and have your wine or have your tea or green tea and enjoy life that's so it so you were telling us about mistakes i mean uh, you know some of those investments didn't work out you said about aris agro you talked about uh, karnataka bank as well but make a mistake once make sure you don't repeat it we yeah, of course you learn no as we grow old we are learning we are learning from our as you also uh, said no that you see when we are making money then we earn yeah when we are losing money then we learn True. okay so when you in the process of making money that time you think whatever you are doing you are doing it right correct so you don't learn from the from your uh, winning uh, uh, th things and all right so this is what i am also learning so there is one quote of mine that buy like a bull sit like a bear and watch like an eagle so this is what the only work i have <laughs> left with watching all my companies that how they are performing and keep on reshuffling them okay so although the horizon is to hold them for 10 years or 15 years mm. that does not mean that i cannot sell my shares tomorrow 
if I like something which is not going as per my mind yeah. and I am actually stressed, yeah. then I will certainly, I will cut off that position. Absolutely. I do not have any shame in that. Oh, that's, uh, on that note, Mr. Khedia, thanks so much for coming down to our studio. It's been a pleasure talking to you. We'll wrap up on this edition of uh, Masterclass with Mr. Vijay Khedia. Hope you enjoyed it.